What up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel, it's always with me Rich and I got a Z review for you today, uh, two comics that I was able to trade for at the cozy event, the Comics and Zines Las Vegas Fest and what are those comics called? They are Hallerton and Light, bam, two sci-fi comics that I picked up uh, they are written and created by the homie Bruce, last name I'm gonna butcher this, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Wang Sanutra. Wang Sanu. Wang Sanu. So, what do I wanna say about these comics? Uh, to begin with, there really is a definite charm to it, the way it's written. Uh, the panel layout, some of it was very, very clever. Some of it, you can tell, was the first time out. So, I just wanted to kind of show uh, what the comic looks like. It's a 8 by 11 a very formal looking comic. That's the homie I met at the Cozy event. So this is really good print quality. What I will say is that you can see a very, very fast jump for Bruce. From issue 1 to issue 2, the art becomes more concise. The rhythm, there's a beat now. Uh, the way he writes, this is a character driven story. So I love the way that in issue one, it's a one page summary of the origin story and then boom, you're in the fucking story, you're in the action. No more bullshit, you're just going. And I like that. A lot of times I feel there's too much exposition. I'm one of those people that does that and I, I wish I wouldn't. But he is able to just set it up, set up the universe in a page. That's very, very concise writing. To be able to set up the whole world universe, you don't get lost, you know what's going on, boom, one page, and then just then just meet the characters. If you like the characters, you will like this story. If you do not like these characters, you're not going to like this comic. It's a, it's a character-driven story. Basically, it, it's very reminiscent of me of something like, um, I, guess, I guess the most uh, known version of what I'm trying to uh, talk about is uh, the Fifth Element uh, movie or the comic books thereof, which is called Valerian, which the movie which did the movie didn't do the comics justice, but the comics are very, very cool and very abstract. Obviously the art from Valerian is on another level. The art here is like I said, it's something that is very, very the beginning of. It's not bad. It doesn't take away from the story, but definitely an elevation of that would elevate the story. Just because you can tell that Bruce has a whole world in vision. And, and another thing that it reminds me a lot of is some of the old school Demon Knight comics, which I don't, I don't know if anyone's ever read those. I don't know how popular those were. I have some in my, in my comic stash. I might pull them out one of these days just to show them off. But yeah, it reminds me a lot of like the London Knight Demon Knight comics, if you guys are familiar with those. So like London Knight had Razor, and then they had, I think it was, I think it was called Demon Knight, but it might have been De Demonique. Something of the sort. But yeah, those, it reminds me kind of of those comics in a bit. And so, definitely, definitely cool comics. Uh, definitely worth checking out. So that's all I got for you guys, man. Check it out if you guys get the chance. Until then, late. Fight the fascists.